Huawei Artifacts of Mars. And this website is Indy100.com is celebrating the fact that Michael Moore has created a resistance calendar because protesting Trump needs to be organized. Well, gee, they're finally admitting to it. Michael Moore is, finally, is fast becoming the anti-Trump hero we need. He means a dirtbag. Documented scenario maker is a crowdsourced, vetted resource, resistance calendar that shows every upcoming protest, march, sit-in, and meeting to help keep people informed on how to best voice their protest against Donald Trump. Users can look for events local to them, even in the smallest towns and villages, so there's no excuse not to get involved. Moore wrote on Facebook, all hands on deck. It's the only way we're going to beat him and lessen the damage that he's doing. Our goal is his removal from office and defeat of any politician who isn't with us. We are the majority. Unbelievable. So let's take a look at the resistance calendar. I'm not intending on going along on this one. February 22, solitary sleep out from a company child refugees, London, UK. February 23, rally Randy Holtgren's office, Canton Hills, Illinois. And it just goes on and on. And there you have it, the left is, they're basically admitting that they're organizing these things, which we already knew. Many of most of these pro most of these protesters are paid protesters. They're uh, not regular citizens that you know hold jo down jobs and have watched the illegals coming over the border and shutting down, you know, taking labor away from people and committing crimes and such. Not all of them do it, of course, but enough of them do. This is why I say getting that border shot. There's more likely to be, you know, attacked at one time or another here eventually. But anyway, here you go. February 23, People Before Profits Rally, Mitch McConnell, Covington, Kentucky. I wouldn't exactly call Mitch McConnell a, a conservative, by the way. He's a rhino Republican. Major rhino Republican. There you have it. As a matter of fact, Mars, thanks for watching.